Hi everybody. Welcome to Nashville North Studios. We're here today with Sandra Coberlane looking at her works. She's in the solo room, has some fascinating pieces, different concepts. You may not have seen encaustic work before or cyanotypes, but I'm going to show you uh, what is available in this room. And as you can see, it's highly layered. It is thoughtful composition. It is engaging in color. And as you can see, it uh, has many, many different opportunities to explore. Here's a map, which you may not see unless you get up close. I do believe I see an index and a bicycle. There's all kinds of uh, different uh, layering to engage the eye and spark conversation, even within yourself. Love the barn. That's the farm girl talking. So on these walls, as you can see, there's some shiny surfaces and some flat. Much of the wax is beeswax, if not all. And she actually, Sandra actually has bees. So maybe she'll tell us a little bit about that. This wall right in front of us is cyanotypes. We're gonna talk about that. That's an experiment that you do with the sun. The sun's your accomplished, accomplice in making these. All from nature, very organic. So we're gonna turn the camera around. Sandra's going to put her chair in place and uh, I'm going to set the camera for her. And as a reminder, this exhibit will be here uh, until mid-month. So, let's see. That's pretty good. Hi, Sandra. Hello. There we go. Thanks for having me here today. Well, welcome to National Door Studios. We're so delighted that you could bring your work and uh, participate here in South Jersey. Uh, you are a South Jersey girl, actually, uh, now. I've become one, yes. You've become one. Yes. But uh, you started out in Pennsylvania yes. as a child, in the mountains, in the Pocono Mountains. Right, I grew up in the Poconos. Um, I'm the youngest of three daughters and had a really great up upbringing and uh, very good foundation for my art education with my high school teacher. Uh, that was Miss Gina Devlin. Yes, Miss Gina Devlin. She's uh, still teaching art and we are social media friends so I will hopefully share this video with her. Mm -hmm. um, she was my inspiration and that was you know a good upbringing up in the, in the Poconos in Pennsylvania. Yeah, so once you left there and you went away, uh, where did you go then? My beginning art education was at the Art Institute of Pittsburgh, uh, which was in graphic design and uh, did a lot of brochures and logo design, some billboard design, and this was all before computers, so it was um, you know, a whole different type of learning. Um, and then returned back home to the Poconos to uh, work in some of the resorts in the area, doing all those things in, in graphic design. and. Uh, I always wanted to be an art teacher, but didn't follow that in the beginning. My parents said uh, you wouldn't make a good living as a, as a teacher, and so I didn't follow that path at the time. But you know, one thing leads to another, and eventually I did pursue my art teaching degree, and that's where I spend my days now. Mm -hmm. Inspiring our youth. I hope so. Yes, yes, to continue. So 
It was at that time uh, you also uh, met your husband just before that, before your teaching. Yes, mm -hmm. um, we went to the same high school together, but we didn't know each other at the time. And you know, throughout careers and time changes, we ran into each other, and. Um, started a family together and he's been super supportive of my uh, what was just a, a hobby at the time and has encouraged me to move forward and continue making my art. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. So you've had a, a, a very career since you made this decision and it has taken you places that you probably didn't expect to go. Yes. I would have never dreamed when I was a kid uh, that, you know, my parents were super supportive, but I would have never dreamed as a young child that I would have been showing in a gallery, a place like yours, um, and making art and selling art. So um, I've had, again, as I said, super great support. And um, every time I meet a new gallery person, a new uh, place, a, a new buyer, I'm so super thrilled to to see where this journey is taking me. What does the word encaustic mean? Encaustic is a Greek word. It means to burn in. Um, it came, comes from the ancient Greeks and the Egyptians, and it literally means to burn in. So in my studio, I'm uh, like double fisted holding a paintbrush and a, a blowtorch and working with molten beeswax. So um, the, the medium that I paint with is uh, encaustic and it's beeswax mixed with damar resin, which is a, a tree sap, uh, I believe an African tree sap that's ground into powder and mixed with the beeswax, which is cleaned and purified over time and pigment. So the paint that you see on all these works in here are encaustic, they all have beeswax and earth pigments and the damar resin in them. The damar resin is not, uh, it's not like plastic when you think of the word resin, it's not like that, it's, it's a natural substance and over time it will make the paintings get harder mm -hmm. and shinier. Mm -hmm. So it's a, a natural product that uh, makes the beeswax uh, exist over time. Mm -hmm. So you had told me be, just uh, probably before you got into encaustic work, you had gone to Italy. Can you tell us a little something about that? Yes, I, I studied uh, art education at Rome University and was fortunate enough to be um, granted a full scholarship to study in Florence, Italy through Studio Art Center International and uh, took my daughter there with me while she was a middle school student and um, studied uh, Italian art history. That was my minor in college and studied with fresco painters. I was taking classes with some of the masters there in Italy, seeing Michelangelo's work, Da Vinci's work, everybody's work and constantly every day, every weekend touring because it was class work, I had to do it, um, touring uh, Italy and seeing art. That was why I was there for four whole months. For an artist, that's like being in a candy store. It was amazing. Yeah. And uh, it transformed my life and my daughter, uh, it was life changing for her as well. Now wasn't that, didn't you say that was a special scholarship? Yes, that was through uh, Seward Johnson of the Grounds for Sculpture. He, um, he donates, I believe now twice a year to Rowan University Art Education, or just maybe art students. Um, scholarships to participate in the Studio Art Center International's education, which is a, a semester long learning opportunity to live in Italy and be surrounded by the works and to study with masters. And then it was planned for you to have an exhibit with him. Yes. But that didn't uh, pan out as of yet. Um, if they do uh, an exhibition of him uh, post. Yes. Uh, he did pass away, but uh, tell us a little bit about that. It's very exciting. I was thrilled, yes. As a, as a scholarship um, awardee, uh, I was invited to exhibit with Seward Johnson. It would have been in, in Brooklyn of this past year in March. This, is, this was all planned before COVID, of course. Um, but uh, the professor that I worked with, Dr. Adelson at Rowan, he organized 
an art exhibit in Brooklyn to have us, uh, the art students, mm -hmm. show with Seward. Well, I hope he considers continuing with this idea. Yes. And uh, that would be a wonderful tribute to him. Yes. Yes. Although he's a sculptor, he was a sculptor, mm -hmm. um, I was really envisioning how my work could look alongside of his. And caustic is a medium that you can sculpt with. It doesn't have to be 2D. You can make, uh, you can put it on any medium at all, and it's very resilient and very forming and forgiving and changing. So I was really interested in, of course, showing with Seward Johnson. Well, and his sculptures are colorful like your work. So I would uh, see, in, as a gallerist, I would see one of his sculptures in a room mm -hmm. and then his, uh, the work surrounding it capturing uh, the essence of that sculpture, mm -hmm. which yours certainly would qualify for that. Thank you. Yes, anything. I think they work together beautifully. So um, you recently, in the last couple of years, found a retreat that uh, you and your husband uh, were lucky enough to uh, get in an auction. Was that correct? That is correct. Yes. So for many years, as most art artists dream, I was dreaming of a special spot where I could make art and have an artist retreat. I could invite people to workshops. I could invite people to stay. It would be a creative place, an outlet for myself and I don't know. I didn't. I don't know yet. Yes, still so, unfolding. It is still unfolding. So we went to an auction, and sure enough, we were the winners of the auction and bought ourselves a um, big parcel of land with two dwellings, two different parcels, and the smaller home is now my studio. So I'm fortunate enough to walk through my front door across the lawn and have a studio space where I, I get to create and um, hopefully again soon I will be uh, hosting workshops and maybe even have studio space for other artists. Mm -hmm. um, since the pandemic obviously I've not been doing that but um, May 22nd I have my first workshop coming up. Wonderful. Yes. Yeah. So we're looking forward to you having a workshop in this area too. Yeah. As soon as we can arrange space and safety. Right. For everyone. Yeah. Yes. It, it was fun to be here for the opening, hearing so many people um, unaware of encaustic, but yet intrigued enough to want to take a workshop. Yes. Well, we have a whole list. Yes. Good. Yes. So we're excited about that too. It's one of those mediums that uh, it's been around for centuries, but it's having a resurgence, and yeah. I think people are intrigued. Well, I think uh, COVID for all of its bad points, has given many of us time to think mm -hmm. and think about what we might like to explore. Mm -hmm. So yes. some benefits to go with it. So um, you uh, are influenced by everything that's around you, but mostly by nature. Yeah. Um, at my age, I've seen a lot, done a lot. I've had good experiences, and everything that I think I that comes into my life is an influence to me. I take photos, my just like most people these days, your cell phone's in your hand. You take photos of the most intricate details, and they probably will show up in a painting. Um, now, where we live, my husband and I, Lindsay, uh, we're in the middle of a nature preserve, Sapana Meadows Nature Preserve. We are surrounded by um, the preserve, the reserve, and um, a waterway, and lots and lots and lots of nature and greenery and wildlife. And so now I'm trying to pay much more attention to my environment. Yeah, so you're seeing the greens and the blues anew. Yes. 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 Um, so you're also going to have uh, this coming weekend. Uh, you're going to have something happen at your studio. Mm -hmm. you want to tell us about that? Yeah, um, it's the time of the year that Salem County, New Jersey artists, Arts and Bloom, are having open studios. Last year with COVID, we didn't have such a grand opening, um, but some of us are choosing to try it this year under good, healthy, safe conditions, wearing masks. Our studios will be open, and um, my studio will, will be one of them. It's this coming weekend, May 15th and 16th, um, 
all of Salem County will be open and you can drive around and take the tour from 10 to 5 Saturday and Sunday. So it, I've done the tour years ago before I was participating as an artist. It's amazing the, the artwork that our South Jersey artists are creating is really amazing. There's so much talent out there that I, I didn't know about. So this tour really showcases and um, brings awareness to all the talent. And did you say on Saturday there's a special Zoom? Yes. Because of COVID, some studios are choosing to not be open and um, they are doing a Zoom. Even if you are open, you could choose to do a Zoom opening. So you can log on from your home and Zoom into my studio and I could walk you around and show you what I do. Mm -hmm. So um, look for Salem County, uh, artsandbloomnewjersey.com and it will show you links to all the studios that are particip participating both virtually and in person. And we'll put that information up and those brochures will be available here. Yes. And if people can't go there, we would welcome them here yes, as well to see your work in person mm -hmm. because there's nothing like seeing it in person. Yes, that's one of my struggles as an artist is to photograph it because of the glare, the mm -hmm. luminosity. And mm -hmm. I've had people see the photos that I've shared on Facebook and Instagram, but they will come into this room and they will gasp yes. because it's like getting a warm and caustic hug, if you will. It's uh, really beautifully done and so professionally presented by you. Uh, and it uh, captures the essence of so much of our Jersey Shore life. That All is my nature. goal. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. It was wonderful to be part of your Earth Day celebration. Yes, the 51st Blue year. Yes. yes, and it was also our anniversary, the beginning, the end of five years of doing beginning. this and the beginning of number six. Well, congratulations. Thank you. That's a lot. Yeah. You, know, you host a lot of wonderful artists here. Well, once a month, uh, we like to have an opening and uh, we have a whole schedule. And we're lucky enough to have artists such as yourself who are highly talented and uh, will bring engaging work into this oh so petite solo room but uh, it seems to be large enough to be engaging. Yes, it's small, but has a good impact. Yes. I'm yes. thrilled to be here. Yeah, thank you so much. So uh, we'll look forward to finding you online, uh, on YouTube. Uh, we'll put this on our Nashville North Studios yeah. and uh, people can tune in and watch it and hopefully subscribe uh, so that when we put new videos up, everyone will know a new artist is coming upon us. Yes, I watch them. I learn a lot from the artists yeah. that you have here. Yeah. Well, and I'm an art educator, so I share them in my classroom. Oh, thank you. Yes. That's very nice. Yes. Very nice indeed. Well, thank you so much. And uh, we will probably have this up by tomorrow. All right. So uh, would you like to talk to any to anyone about anything in particular, take one of the pieces and say a few words about it, and I'll follow you with the camera. Okay. okay. Well, um, I, as I mentioned earlier, they're all made with beeswax. So the, when I walk in this room, I can smell the wax. It, it's a beautiful scent. It's very natural. Um, you can see here a collection over time of the work that I've done. Some of this work in here has won awards. It's, it's been in advertisements in South Jersey. Some of it's super new. Um, my newest work has been exploring cyanotype, which is, has been kind of a, sun, a fun uh, sun science project. Uh, it's an ancient technique where you use the sun instead of using a camera. And so it's photoless or cameraless photography, I should say. And um, every time the sun would come out in my studio, I would run outside with plants from right around my studio. So these are native New Jersey things that I would find in my, in my yard, in my, in my area, and um, photograph them again using the sun as my camera. And then uh, bring them back into the studio. It's, again, it's like a science project. And then put my beeswax on top of them. And I was so excited about them and their the light, how it worked with them, that I started this little series behind Judith so you can see through them. 
So there's, these are on uh, encaustic, they're on paper and encased in encaust, and encaustic, they're cyanotypes. And when the sun shines, they're super translucent and uh, you can really get the effect of the, the nature in South Jersey. So, so they're suspended from an old window where there are three panels uh, of your cyanotypes. Is that correct? That is correct. So we're actually looking through a window. I'm going to go out in the hall. I think we'll still be able to hear you if you want to say something. I do um, want to say something. Even the glass little heart on there I made. Oh, did you? I took glass art classes. So that little heart I even made up. Oh, of look at that. Monotype, a and, uh, and, a mm -hmm. and how about this? That's a cyanotype as well. Beautiful. All, all found and this is the key to your studio, right? <laughs> yes, you can come anytime. <laughs> there you go. You have the key to my studio. There you go. So here's a close up of the one out here. So we hung these back to back. Um, because we wanted you to be able to see it's a window or windows in a window. And Judith, we talked about the fact that um, my husband and I are also beekeepers. So we just started being beekeepers and mm -hmm. our bees made it through the winter. I don't yet use my own beeswax for this art medium, but hopefully in the future that will be an option. Mm -hmm. So we also have information here that uh, we can give you about Sandra's work. She typed up some information and uh, we have some pretty little pieces that are not on the wall, but they certainly are available and uh, would look lovely in your home. So again, we'd like to say thank you for coming, for bringing your work and uh, for all of the organic joy it brings. Thank you so much. Thank you.